Bingo. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Here we are again, day four. Kyle. Whoa, I'm so excited. I love, 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 love this pillow. Yes, this has been a fun one to do. Mm -hmm. And we're so happy that you have been joining us all week long. And we hope that you're getting yours done. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you just had two to do a day, that's oh, not bad. Not too bad. You could have it done. Two, three. And you could even get it done in an evening. If you wanted to, you could. I mean, if you really evening into the night. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like block wise. Oh, right? okay. Then, yes. You know, give yourself a good weekend or a week or two weeks or two months. It doesn't matter. And this is not a race. You get great pleasure watching it stitch. Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Pat's behind one block. No worries. I would not oh. call that even behind. No my friends. So, uh -uh. hi, Miss Susan. And Sherry is joining us, Deb, Laura, Margaret. Um, oh, it's just great to see all mm -hmm. of you here. So, all right. Yeah, Deb said, watching you made me buy the kit and buy the thread. <laughs> we did our job, You're Deb. welcome. You're <laughs> welcome. Because now I have to do another one. That's right. For exactly. me. Exactly. I know. You have to, right? I know. So, um, before we begin with today's lesson, I think we should just enjoy the lights off for a minute Ooh. and take a look again at this beautiful pillow so we're going to go ahead and turn those lights off look at the twinkling oh, i love it mm. sit underneath on a nice uh, couch with a nice quilt yeah and some hot chocolate yeah oh my gosh that oh, sounds that amazing beautiful. i didn't know if i liked them blinking but i i do i think the twinkling mm -hmm. really helps mm -hmm. So, yeah. all right. Uh, it looks like someone has no sound. It's, and so whatever I say is not going to help them. But mm -hmm. if uh, someone can help somebody with sound, I think we're good, though. Oh, yeah. I Otherwise. think so. so. I think so. I'm good. Right. How about you? <laughs> <laughs> Great. I can hear you just fine. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Carol says she's struggling to cut six and three-fourths. Okay. Good to know, Carol. We will show you exactly on the ruler today where six and three fourths is. Six okay. and how many 
uh, slashes. Mm -hmm. I make my husband crazy with a tape measure. Do you? Mm, I do it on purpose. <laughs> he, oh, look, yes. <laughs> it's your joy in life to uh -huh. make Reed crazy. Seven marks past the half. <laughs> there you go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, we'll we'll talk about that for sure, Carol. All right. So well, let's go afternoon ahead and put the Vanessa. lights back on. And, oh, yeah, some of you, it's yeah, afternoon. All righty. I'm going to put this right over here. And we'll go ahead and get started with all the fun. All right. <laughs> Jessica says she's excited to get this pillow done the same year it comes out. That's impressive. <laughs> that is that impressive. Is, I might finish my cup of cheer in, within the year. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Within I have until Christmas, right? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah, Kathy said we have clubs for that. <laughs> starting a new There's procrastinators a procrastinator. club soon. For this? I don't think it's going to be for this one, though. No, this I one's pretty this slick. One's, this one's pretty easy. For those of you who have been with us, you uh, have uh, followed along with uh, the Cup of Cheer Procrastinators Club. And so many of you got it done that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, that yeah. was awesome. But I think, what do you think about this, Kyle? Can okay. you guys tell us what you think? My personal feeling is I think we should have a procrastinators club for Bella boxes. I'm in. I'm in. Me. Can we have it go for yes. a while? Yes. I got a few to do. <laughs> in fact, the new Bella box comes out next Tuesday, I heard. And can you tell me what's in it? I have no idea. Oh. I haven't seen it. I don't. I, you mean Kim, really? Kim does not share these things with me. I might have to go visit her, yeah. but I'm sure she won't show me. <laughs> right. <laughs> and so um, I think that Bella box is going to be amazing. I just know it's like Christmas, like, or holiday projects, giftable items. Did we do a class with the Bella box? Doing the Bella box? Did we've we do all, that a while? Always, we've yeah. always done Bella box classes, right? But um, so I think, how about Bella boxes, Procrastinators Club, and Me Time? Oh, yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Like the perfectly piece. Can I, can I be really with you cute, and do my own? Yeah. Let's while do, we're together? Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to do two at a time, right? Yours yeah. and mine? Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. So, um, Kathy, write that down. <laughs> I think I think that's what we need to do. We need to do bell boxes and, and me time boxes for sure. Are you going to do it before Christmas? Ah, uh, we'll see. You got a little bit on your plate. <laughs> Not sure if it will happen before no. then, but you never know. We'll yeah. see. Um, all right, guys. So today, today's class. So Christmas Village let's review. Also, what's yeah, Christmas true. Village? Isn't that the meantime? Meantime, yeah. Yeah. The okay. Houses. Okay. Um, on Monday, we did cutting and prep <laughs> uh, for this. On Tuesday, triple. <laughs> <laughs> on Tuesday, we did. Um, uh, blocks one, two, and seven. And we talked about like the background quilting, how right. to bring it in, mm -hmm. you know, all the things with that. Uh, yesterday we talked about, well, the homework was to do blocks three, four, five, and six. And we were able to get through block four with all of you yesterday. Cause that was the fringe. That was the fringe. A lot of you liked the fringe. A lot of you are excited about doing fringe now. Mm -hmm. So I'm really happy about that. And then um, today we're talking borders. Fun, Unbelievable. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes, I lo 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 love, love the love, borders. Love, love. Give me all the love <laughs> all the on love. the borders. So let's talk about borders. But before we do, we have winners from yesterday. Yes. We have winners from yesterday, friends. So let's drum roll. I don't have any. Three beat. winners. Oh, and let's grab the okay. prizes. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and bring those winners up on the screen. Here we go. Congratulations to yesterday's winners. The winner of the Kimberbell USB stick is Bridget J. Miller Prestovic. Oh, I'm yay! That name. Sorry, yay. Bridget. The Kimberbell Tumblr goes to Colleen Fr Fangman Gaiman. Wow. Fangman These are Gaiman. Some good names. Some big names. Yay. Yeah. And the laptop bag goes to Don Ellis Higley. Oh, Yay. nice. Yay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so keep one keep more try. Comments. No, well, actually, I have 15 prizes to give away. So, so we've got Monday. So yeah. let's see. Thursday, so tomorrow. 
tomorrow, but then we have winners for Fridays. Yeah. So isn't today Thursday? Today's Thursday. But so tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be announced from today. The previous day's oh. winner. <laughs> I'm having the troubles with math today. I did fine. really good it's yesterday, totally but did. today's you, another day. You did. <laughs> so today, uh, yeah. So two more chances <laughs> to win. Two more chances. And we'll be oh, giving I like away the balloons. Whoa, fancy. Cool. That's awesome. Where did that come from? Did you guys not do it? <laughs> we got Abby and Allie in the house today. <laughs> That's awesome. And somehow balloons magically appeared. Congratulations. Will it come up on its own? Oh, no, I don't they know. They were like, I, I don't, don't know what, what we the did. Trigger was, but um, cool. that was amazing. Could you that say was... my name and maybe balloons will come up? Kyle. Yes. Balloons. <laughs> no, not happening. I don't know how that happened. That was cool, though. I liked it. Very cool. Very cool. Appropriate Fancy. timing. So, Allie and Abby, whatever you did, it worked. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Let's talk borders, shall we? Okay. Okay. Don't be afraid. Good point. Yes. Don't point. be afraid. Now, of course, we're talking block by block method. Okay. So there's a couple things I want you to make sure to remember. Mm -hmm. All right. There are special border um, designs that are found on Kimberbell.com. Mm -hmm. And if it's a light gray box, Okay. Yes. So if it's a light gray box, if it's found in light gray, which is what these borders uh, for this was meant to be, it means it's directional. Okay. That I it's did not going know that. To line up and it's going to line up precisely mm -hmm. where the last one ended. I okay. did not get that. Yeah. So like the little town of Bethlehem, yeah. you know, you want it to line oh, up. Oh, yeah. Your words, joy to you the saw world, my one. you want it to line up. When oh, I didn't I tighten remember. my... Um, what did you do? Hoop. I didn't tighten my hoop tight enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it yeah, got yeah, off yeah. just a little yeah, bit. So yeah, I redid but, it. Yeah. And you redid it. And I yeah. was like, you didn't have to. No, right? I didn't have to, but it was display. It, it was, it was, it was going to drive you crazy. It was. So you just decided to do that. <laughs> and right? it wasn't any big deal. Yeah. Good practice. Yeah. 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 So um, make sure you tighten your hoop. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am very sure of that now. And then if it's a dark gray um, color on Kimberbell.com, then it's a little bit more all over oh, the place all over. and it doesn't oh, have to line up. I it's did not, not even realize. linear. So see, they're really smart. They are. They're really smart they're wicked over smart. there. The wicked smart. That's right. All right. Wicked smart. Wicked. I like, you know, I want to go back east and yes. just not have my R's in my words. Yeah. yeah you, nope. You don't have to. Smart. Smart. Hataka. Hataka. Okay, all the we, things we can say that because she is from the yeah. east. Yeah. So and I made some good friends at Tug and stuff. Yes, you I did. Had a couple of them <laughs> for a while. Yes, it's pretty awesome. Uh, Lisa did not know this about the okay. grade. Well, there you go. There you go. All right. Looks like some congratulations are also in order for somebody who had an anniversary. Oh, oh Kim Yanko, yeah. happy anniversary. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and take a look down here on our um, cutting mat. And we are on page, ooh, this is interesting, folks. Mm -hmm. Page one of the block by block method right. Christmas borders. It's so separate from the if instructions. You are wondering where I got this from. Mm -hmm. You're right, Kyle. It separate. is separate from the instructions. Okay, so uh, when you open up the file for background quilting designs, this is what's going to be found there. All right, so I'm going to bring this over to this camera. Look at that, another camera. We've got Please another don't let camera. me knock them off. We've got so many. Are we good there? Okay, one moment, please. <laughs> All right. Yay! So you oh. you learned a lot.
right. Okay, are we good now? Oh, I'm sorry. You're fine. I said we need to have some kind of sign when when we realize that the sound went out and right. we're, we're trying to tell you one minute. Uh -huh. So if you see that Chris says one, like I have the number one, that mm -hmm. means one minute. They're yeah. working on it. <laughs> They're solving it. <laughs> They're getting it solved. And that's what these two ladies do. They solve all the issues, which we're so grateful mm -hmm. for. Okay. We good now? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I'm going to use just this camera, correct? Not this other one. For now. For now. Okay. So, oh, but the lighting. I don't think it's there. Oh, go to, okay, there we go. Go to this guy. This one? We're going to go to a different one. Okay. This one? Oh, there you go. Ta da. Okay. Here we go, Kyle. All right. We're on page one of the quilting instructions, and it says Christmas border six block by block method. I don't know if the light is on there yet. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So, um, and they have to print this separate. It doesn't come yeah. with your instructions. Well, it comes in the it comes in the instructions, but it comes in the background quilting instructions. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So you could print it, or you could not just have it. Not I. I think the lighting went out again. There we go. Okay, <laughs> or is, unless it's just on my side. The end says so she's side, cheering for camera ladies. Yes. They're awesome. Absolutely. Okay. So you can see that you have different file sizes to choose from. Mm -hmm. We have one by seven, one by 10, one by 12, one by 14. What does the one mean? Okay. Are you ready for this? Let me fill you in on a little secret here. Oh, good. I want to know. All right. You can take some notes here. Okay. One is the finished size. So this border um, is going to end up quilting? finishing one inch wide. Okay. All right. Okay, one inch wide. Do you know what the number seven stands for? The length of that's going to be in your hoop? Kind of, yes. Okay. If you have been wondering about, like, um, what size hoop should I use for mm -hmm. these? Guess what? The second number correlates with the size hoop you have. And this, it does work this way. Five by so seven? So one by seven is actually going to fit into a... Six. No, nope. no, you're one right. By five five so, by seven? Yep going to fit into because your five by seven. Because there is hoop. no background. So exactly. So we don't have to worry about that. Yep. Okay. The one by 10 is going to fit into a. Eight by 10. Six oh, by 10. Six by 10. That's the one. Uh-huh. One by 12 will fit into a seven eight. by 12 or an eight by 12. Okay. A one by 14 is going to fit into a nine and a half by 14. Okay. Okay. So this is how. Why all the different sizes? because everyone has different size hoops Ooh. right so which is really nice so if you only have like a five by seven hoop for example then you would just be repeating this several times right if you have a nine and a half by 14 inch hoop then by all means use yes. this one use the largest one you and can. use the largest one you can and it's less rehoopings right and and then we can combine designs oh, too, mm -hmm. okay? So that you can put more than one design in a hoop. Uh, and most times you can actually um, do that right on your machine, all right? I'm gonna show you both ways today. So now that we know that information, if I were doing, um, okay, let's, let's okay, do this the- this freaks me out a little bit. Let's do let's do this design border. Okay, we're going to be on doing the outside border. Yeah, outside border. Let's talk about it for a minute. All right, three by seven. The what does the three stand for? Everyone, the stitching. How the wide bordering. the border is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is, is what we're going to use on our outside. It? Yeah, it's going to take into account that extra part, but it finishes at three inches. Okay. All right, so it finishes at three inches yeah. wide, but what size hoop will this go into? Five by seven. Five by seven. Right? Nice. And look at it, stitches all the way to the air. Yeah. Oh, nice. And then this three by 10 is going to fit into what size hoop? Uh, something by 10. Six by 10. Six by 10. Mm -hmm. 
Then three by 12 will fit into the seven by 12 or the eight nice. by 12. And the three by 14 okay. will stitch in, will fit into the nine and a half by 14. So you're given all of these different sizes so that no matter what project you work on, I mean, look at this, Kyle. If I wanted to do a, a totally different quilt, I mean, not oh. even this one. Oh, And I yeah. wanted to do Little Town of Bethlehem on here. Mm -hmm. I could do a six inch border and they have the quilt sizes in here. For oh, me. so Isn't you that need cool? to be aware of what size your border is. Yeah. And it will tell us in the directions. So okay. this, for example, this would border awesome. width is going to finish at three inches. So we're not using the six inch. We're going to be using the three inch. But how awesome is it that Kimberbell has thought beyond the pillow and said, you know what? If you bought these designs, you're going to be able to do it on lots of different projects. How many different possibilities are there? There's four with each one. One, two, three, four, five. There's six different widths. Wow. You could choose from. How cool is that? What do you guys think? Is that an aha for you? Uh, because yeah. it is for me. Uh, absolutely. When I think about it, because all I, you know, all I really need are these ones. Mm -hmm. But how awesome is it? The value of of picking up um, clear blue tiles and adding them into your quilt library because now i have all these different sizes and that, that I is the amount for. you get when you purchase that. exactly and when kyle when you think about how much you spend on getting something quilted at, <laughs> at a long yeah. armor right um this i mean that's pretty detailed this ends up i think it was like 20 something bucks for this but also for like all the inner and the mm -hmm. outer so it's pretty pretty dang cool that's good value all right uh sherry the where you find this page is it's going to be found when you purchase the background quilting files on kimberbell.com uh you the, the files will download mm -hmm. but you'll also receive this instruction sheet in addition to it and so that's where you find it I printed mine off. I'd love to print mine yeah. off because I want it in hand. Let's go back to this camera right here. Mm -hmm. And you also have fabric cut width here. Here's a chart. Here's what you should cut your batting at. This is what the finish width is and so forth. Okay. So you've got lots of things going on right nice. here as I've well. I've never printed that part off. I need to. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So this is very helpful as well. Um, if we, I'm going to do it exactly as the instructions show us today, but I do have another little helpful hint that if we can get to at the end, we'll talk a little bit more about that as well, okay. as well, but I am going to do it exactly as the instructions have outlined. All right. Gloria, such a good idea. She said that she has a notebook just for quilting designs Absolutely. and that's an excellent idea. And then back to this camera right here you're going to see that it's giving us step-by-step -step instructions on how this all goes together. Nice. Right? So it's like having a friend sitting right next to you saying, mm -hmm. now do this, now do this, and go there, mm -hmm. and, you know, all the things. So all the instructions are right here. And, of course, you and I together are going to take them through. We're going to hold each other's hands. Yep, and we're going to show you how this is and done. And okay. they have highlighted things. You didn't highlight anything. No, those are their highlights. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pay attention so, to the highlights. Yes, for sure. All right. Now, going back, here's my awesome Kimberbell yes. binder. And um, let's see. Let me answer a question here. Christy, second number means the hoop size. Yep. Second number means the hoop size. Now, of course, according to what how wide how long your border is mm -hmm. you're going to repeat that several times that's yes. why if you have a large hoop go for the large hoop do the nine and a half by 14 mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. um and then you just have to repeat it a couple times this pillow is longer than any hoops exactly this pillow ends up being 36 inches so yeah you're going to have to repeat it you know even if you have the times. largest hoop mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even with it's the largest good hoop. for you it is good for us, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> okay, friends, let's go to our instruction book right here. And um, we're going to look at page 24. 
Diana, the first number corresponds with the width. The width. Width of the um, embroidery or the piece of fabric? Um, well, of the embroidery. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. So I'm looking at my instructions here. And yes, Randa, we do have binders still too. Oh, we do? Okay. All right. This is page 24 that we are on. And we're looking at sewing the borders. All right. Uh, we are going to work on the inner border first. So I'm going to have Allie bring that um, graphic up. What it tells us here is it says that the borders are quilted following the instructions provided with the border quilting files. All right. So we, that's what we are just going over. Mm -hmm. The inner border we are first going to bring up is KDQ 234 border Christmas 6 one inch width. All right. All that's good information to have. It I always is. have my instructions right near me. Oh, yeah. So important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so important. All right. And they give us two options here. We can do option A or option B. Now, for those of you with larger hoops, you're going to want to just go straight to option B. All right. But for today's purposes, I'm going to go with option A. They're still the same steps, right? Same exact steps. But I wanted to be able to re-hoop a few times mm -hmm. so that we get practice on mm -hmm. doing this. I want everyone to be able to have some good practice here. So that's why I'm going with option A, but there is option B too. So how many of you are going the option A route? I'm curious to know in the comments. And how many are going to end up going with option B? Oh, yay, Julie. She has her quilting designs printed off. Good job. Makes so much sense now. Good, good, good. Good, Anne. B, B, All right. B, 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 A. A lot of you are doing B. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So... Lots of you have those bigger hoops, but if you don't, A is great, yeah. and it really is not hard to do. No. I promise. No, so, once you get it down, you're mm -hmm. like, oh, I oh, get it. I get it. The light bulb is going to go on for you, right? Some days it's dim. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, um, yeah, if you have the bigger hoops, go with option B. If you have smaller hoops, option A is wonderful. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do option A today. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. So option A is telling us that we are going to pull up now option A, you still need a six by 10 hoop. All right. Because we're going to, or yes, a six by 10 hoop. We're going to do um, option A, one, a one by 10 joy to the world. The Lord has come. Um, and then a one by 12 of let earth receive her king. Okay, so we're going to do both of those, combine them together, and we'll just repeat as needed to finish the quilt, quilting. Now, okay, question for you, Kyle. Oh, dear. Oh dear. And anyone else out there, you, you're welcome to um, join in on this. How long do I have to cut my border? Longer as long as the pillow, I cut it a little bit longer. Good. Been there, done that. Yes. Oh, good. my friend did. My yeah, yeah, friend yeah, did. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. If you will cut, you know, just measure. So you're putting your pieces together, your blocks together, um, sewing them all together, and then you measure how long that is. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is it tragic if I have to piece my fabric because I cut it a little bit too short? No. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 No nope, one nope. even knows. Nope. So what we recommend and what Kimberbell recommends is that you cut your border fabric to be two inches longer. Absolutely. Give or take, right? Approximately two inches. Just again to account for if it starts to pull That way you don't have bit. tears. Exactly. So yeah, do your border. This ends up, we know that this is about a 36 inch wide pillow, right? Mm -hmm. And so we're going to do um, about a 38 inch length. Yes. Well, guess what? How, what's the, what's the width of um, fabric off the bolt? 42, 40? Yeah, 40, 42, right? Mm -hmm. so, so 
I'm just going to do the whole width of it. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing the whole width. Mm -hmm. Besides, who isn't sure singing the off. song along when that's quilting? Or saying the words. Yeah, exactly. Joy right to, to the, the world. world. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yep, exactly. And I make sure and cut off the salvages as well. Yes. Okay. Why do you cut so, off the salvages? Well, you don't want them in your project. You don't? No. I like so that little bit of white in them. Yeah. <laughs> when I have printed fabric. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. <laughs> it looks really good. It's a design mm -hmm. element, right? Uh -huh. Okay. It's an extra bonus. Exactly. All okay. right. Let's I got a question here. right off. What's that? You did not back that. With the fusible back. Here. I didn't back it. Did you do yours? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. So it's up to you all. Okay. <laughs> Why would we? Um, again, give it a little bit more stability, um, a little more drape. I felt like I was okay not to just okay. because you didn't. These are quilting stitches. They, there's not as much pull in on them for puckering. Plus, you're going to have the batting. And I'm going to have the batting. So for me, I don't. But if you already did, you absolutely can do that. There's nothing wrong with that. And who I knows? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll wish I did it. <laughs> I got another question. What's that? Sometimes this is long. I'm going to come to the screen. And now. I don't want to cut my um, fusible backing mm -hmm. that whole length. I want to cut across. Can I piece it? Absolutely. Thank you. You could piece it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love when she asks questions like that. Because I've already done it. <laughs> because you've already done it and you know the answer is like, heck, I don't care. Yeah. It worked for I me. I wanted to know if it's against the law. It is not against the okay. law. Good. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the machine. I'm right up here on my screen. I need to touch it in order to Bring make it, it go, up. right? So a lot of you backed yours. That's great. Mm -hmm. That is great. No worries there. Um, and actually, like I said, maybe I'll wish I did, but I didn't on, on the, I know. Oh, so delightful. I know it was fine. So we're good. All right. I'm it's going like, you know to what you're doing. <laughs> Not always. And by the way, your stabilizer club, I was thinking about that last yeah. night. I learned a ton. Yay. A ton. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Kyle. All right, friends, we are going to bring up joy to the world. It is KDQ 234 and I'm bringing up the one by 10. All right, and you can see it comes up right here, and I'm going to hit set. Okay. It's one by 10, but my fabric is two inches, right? Yes, and that's because Kimberbell had us cut a little bit extra because their feedback from people were was that they it was pulling in too much, right. and they wanted to have wanted extra. a little bit so of that's, room. If you're doing background quilting, yes, that's when you do a little bit extra, okay? All right. Because so, no matter what, your stitching won't change. Exactly. You just have enough wiggle room. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nanette has a question. Is a book supposed to come with the CD? The book is on the CD, Nanette. You print it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's printed off. Okay. So we have Joy to the World. Now, I'm going to do just one at a time right now. But I do want to show you, for those of you who have... Uh, you know, a, have the ability to combine designs on your machine. Okay. If you have software, you can do this as well. But uh, if you, for those of you who have a machine that is able to add, look what you could do here. I could hit the, hit the little button that says add and go find it again. Okay. I'm going to scroll up and find the one by 10. It set and you might go, well, wait a minute, where did it go? It's there. Mm. Right. Now you wouldn't really need to do more than two here because you're only doing two strips. Right. Right. So doing more than two in a hoop isn't really advantageous. Unless, of course, if you were able to even have a bigger hoop and you end up bringing in your three inch. But this is how. Um, you would do this. So joy to the world. And I could do two of them at the same time, which is pretty awesome. And let me show you one more thing. And then I'm going to go back to the original way. Okay. I'd like to give, share a few tips here for mm -hmm. those of you who have well, the ability I'm to do close. this. I'm on the baby lock altar too. And one of the things that I can do, I want you to pay close attention to what's happening here. I have blue, orange, 
blue, orange, green. Okay. This means this is my placement, my tack down, mm -hmm. my placement, my tack down, and then it's the not stitching. So much telling you the and thread colors. No, it's not my thread colors. These, this is more color stops. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And what's happening here is it's doing all of this at one time. And then look, Kyle, it repeats itself. Blue, orange, blue, or um, gold, I should say, and then green. Okay, again, it's repeating. These steps are repeating what was up here. <gasps> and it's doing oh my. that. Okay. Be life changing. okay. So this would work fine, right? Mm -hmm. this, would this is how I do it all the I time. Would, this is, oh, wait till I show you I know, next I know, thing. I'm like, ah, uh, you blew okay. my mind. Because, um, and it's nice because it's a great way to sa save on stabilizer and such, right? So doing more than one in the same hoop is wonderful. However, take a look at this. If I go to edit, let's see, whoops, no, I want to go to, hold on. Let nope. me go, let me go back. Okay. If I go, I'm in embroidery mode. If I go to layout, are they able? I don't know if they're able to see that on the screen. Oh, it's I up think too high. It's, it might be up too high. Are we? They can't. Okay. Okay. I didn't know if the yeah, it, it live was. Oh, just for me. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So if I go to layout, that's where I want it to be. Oh, yes. There is color sort right here. So those of you who have a machine like this that has color sort, I guess what forget. I can do. It's one step, one step, Kyle. I hit color sort. You're like, what happened? I hit layout again. Look at this now. Blue, blue, orange, orange, blue, blue, gold, gold, green, green. Because I have been irritated that I have to do <laughs> one strip yes, and then exactly. I have to go over and do the other one. Exactly. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, help me remember this okay. when I go back downstairs. When you go back downstairs, I'll help remember, okay. uh, remind you. Okay. <laughs> Good. So That's this, is, this is very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. If you have a color sort feature on your machine, use it to your advantage. Absolutely. Okay. All right. I know. I'm so sorry, Laurel. I know the light is reflecting on the screen, so it's kind of hard to see, but mm -hmm. um, we're not sure how to get that one fixed one on this because we have too many lights in out? here. Okay. <laughs> so that's how you do color sort. That's if you're doing more than one uh, of the same item. Oh, Marilyn okay. wants that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Game changer. It is a Absolutely. game changer, isn't it? Absolutely. Um, it's awesome. And uh, it, this is also, Kyle, if you were doing, let's say you were doing a bunch of freestanding lace, for example. Mm -hmm. So I know I'm on a tangent for just a minute, but let me share this message with you. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Let's say I were doing a bunch of lace earrings for all my girlfriends and I they were little presents with bows. Oh. And so they I had a red bow a and a green of present. Thread changing. A lot of thread changing, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what you can do is you add all of those presents into one hoop. Mm -hmm. Use color sort. And how do you get there? You go, you go to embroidery, layout, color sort. Okay. In fact. That was so much fun. Maybe we should yeah. do it again, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. I'm going to show you one more time. And then we go to embroidery, see how it's blue, orange, Yeah, all blue, the different gold, steps. And it has all the steps, right? If you don't want oh, all those steps. Look, number two shows you another it's step. It's the two. same thing yep. down here. Okay. So what I do is I come up to layout. And the three There's threads. The three threads there. This is color sort feature. Go back to layout and now look, blue, blue, orange, orange, blue, blue, and so forth. So now you're doing it all at the same time. It's going to save you a lot of time. Thank you. A lot of time, Thank a lot you. of stabilizer. Because if welcome. I put two in that hoop, I I have been stitching out one. Exactly. And then I have to change thread and go to the next one. Exactly. Yep. Awesome. Okay, friends. So I'm going back to square one. Sorry, that was a little bit of a tangent there. Yes, but, but I'm so grateful. I'd like, if if you've got those things, like, definitely use them to your That's advantage. That's why you buy the machine. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Those are the features. Okay, so let's go back to the regular way. All right, okay. we're gonna um, find this my is design. Only one color, uh, but it has well, the different it's, steps. It's got the different steps. So yeah, I'm going to find my design again. I'm looking for the one by ten. So I hit that and hit set and embroidery. Okay. 
All right, we ready to do this, folks? Oh, I need to show how to cut the, the five and three fourths for the border. Okay, that one will be, Carol, when we get to the second border, the largest, larger border, don't let me forget. <laughs> I will show that. <laughs> I will show that. Okay. Oh, we need thread in here. That would oh, be helpful, right? Oh, we haven't right? done that yet? All right. Now we put that. some thread you know in. Let's go ahead and put the, the thread that, that I'm going to be So using. they can see it. Yeah. Um, oh, I took that You off. know what? They may not be able to see that exactly. So let's go ahead. I'm going to change to like a black thread. Okay. Just for, the, just for purposes of the placement and outline. It's a good okay. idea. Just so you can see it on camera. All right. If you were doing this with um, your regular uh, project, I would just put in right now the, the thread same thread that color that you're going to embroider, mm -hmm. right? One less step. But I'm going to do this with black just for the sake of being able to see what exactly is going on with this border. Okay, my friends, first item up for business. <laughs> I should say, first item up for bid. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> I'll take it. A little nod to the price is right, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is doing a placement line for my batting. You're only doing one at a time. I'm only doing one at a time. Yep. Okay. This because uh, if we did batting, batting is over here. Yep. And how long did you cut your bat? Oh, it told you how long to cut your batting. You had that printed out. Yeah. So in fact, I think I actually cut this too large. It should be cut at one and a half, and I think I did a two. So one, would one you mind cutting that for sure. me to one and a half? All right, let's talk about this for a minute. I wasn't going to talk about it till the end, but I think I think we'll go ahead and talk about it right now. Why not? I'm going to show my hoop for, to you, for you. Here, somewhere right there. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so the placement line... Um, just stitched out, and this is the placement line for the batting. Now, if you go back to the pro the previous few days, right? We've talked about this um, that you cut your batting to be one half inch larger than the finished size. So the finished size is um, one. So we would cut our batting to be one and a half, which would give us a chance to trim it away. Now, my sister-in-law, Kathy, she has a great idea, too, and that she shared with um, in our Procrastinators Club. Okay. She shared that when it comes to doing her borders, she actually cuts it exactly to the size that the, this is right here. So if this was 1 by 10, she cuts her batting to be 1 by 10 and then just puts a glue stick and glues it down. And it, okay. it eliminates the step of cutting. cutting, so of trimming away. So again, you know, you're if gonna that's stitch something right you want to do. That batting. Yes, we're going to stitch right over the batting, and this is what I'm showing you again, according to the instructions. Is that mine is a little bit larger? Okay. Okay, and I'll go ahead and stitch the tack down. Of this batting. This is the instructions. Yeah, this is according to those instructions. Yep. Yeah. Maybe on my next one, I'll show you Kathy's tip. Okay. Okay. That it really does work. Uh huh. It really does. Okay, so we're gonna grab our scissors here, and you got scissors. again, this tack down is going over two times. Yeah, Kathy did make a, a printable. In fact, Kathy, would you mind, um, let's put that printable, I know it's in Procrastinators Club. It, has it been posted in the Friends of My Girlfriend's Quilt Shop page? Because if it is, we could, uh, if it's not, we could put it there as well. But yeah, Kathy did make a printout of that, which was pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this batting away. And again, we're getting close to the stitch line without going over the stitch line. So with Kathy's um, method, she again just cuts the batting according 
So she's she eliminating this step. Yeah, and then she would skip that part. That part. To some, that may feel like it could be a little confusing, right? It's not. It it's really not. But if that's you know, sometimes our all of our minds work a little bit differently, mm -hmm. and so you do what works best for you. All right. It kind and, of made my heart skip when she said she cut it exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I'm just going to measure this real quick. So this ends up being one by eight. So that's okay. what you would end up cutting that to be. It's one by eight. Okay. okay. So, and if you didn't know what it would be, then all you do is after it stitches the placement line, grab your ruler and then cut your batting. Ah, so you could do yeah, that too. You could. Right. Okay. So. Let's go back to our instructions so that we can all follow along together. And let's see, this is the one I want. Okay. There we go. Okay. Are you sure? Are you sure? Got it. <laughs> okay. Allie, we're going to try something here. <laughs> is it working? And we have sound? Yay! Okay. See, absolute, absolute geniuses right here. <laughs> All right, so um, here we go. We're, I am on page number five of um, the, the special uh, background block by block method, mm -hmm. okay? So that's, if you're trying to figure out where I am, am that's where I am, okay? All right, um, so we, it says to iron the fusible vacuum, but I nope, Chris nope, didn't, nope. but that's okay. Hoop the light mesh cut away. We did police. that. That's right. We stitched the placement data uh, batting line. We already did that. Remember, that was in black. We placed the project batting down, um, completely covering the line. Okay. And we've stitched. Let's see if I can bring this closer to the camera. Okay. We've stitched the batting tack down line, and we've trimmed it away. Okay. So, is everyone follow along with me? Okay. This is where we're at right now. Now, this is where we want to make sure and, and do this next item. You are going to, okay, turn the bag close to the thing. Yeah. All right. Well, now it's time to stitch the border fabric. The placement line is going to stitch out, and then you place rolled tape sticky side out above and below the batting. Okay. <gasps> At mm. that point, let's look right here. And look, they've highlighted it in yellow. Place the border fabric one half inch above the top edge of the batting. Align the side edges exactly with the placement line. The extra fabric will hang off the bottom of the hoop. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're putting tape on the top and the bottom? Top so your and bottom. The fabric doesn't move. Uh huh. And then it's we it says smooth the border fabric over the rolled tape. Okay. Um, arrows indicate the placement of the tape under the fabric. So that's what it's just showing there is mm -hmm. like there's tape under there and there's tape under there. Okay. And then we stitch the fabric basing stitch. And this stitch, you don't have to worry, it's going to be sewn into the seam. Right. So you can no still do it there. with black if you want it. Exactly. And then we stitch the background quilting stitch. Okay, so let's get to that point. And we're again, we're just taking you step by step on how this all is working. On this fabric tack down, it doesn't stitch the bottom, the bottom of no, it only this. when it when it stitches the tack down, Kyle, it doesn't have the top and bottom because continuous. it's gonna be continuous, right? So okay. we don't want that. All right, so I am now stitching the placement line. Um, for where the fabric is going to be. Oh, it looks like Kathy posted the step outs on the nice. friend's page. Thank you, Kathy. So if you go over sometime, you know, in the next little while, if you want to see Kathy's step out pictures that she did for Procrastinators Club, she has posted it there. And nice. I think it's a really great idea. Mm -hmm. All right, my friend, Kyle, where do we have our paper tape? Oh, in fact, yes. maybe here it is. You could do this in the hoop, but I'm going to go ahead and do it right here. Yep. Just so everyone can see it clearly. 
Okay, so I'm grabbing some paper tape. I roll it around. Stick it to itself. And stick it right there. Okay. okay? And... It doesn't have to be right on the line. No. Just right above and below. Okay. And then remember that it told us to take your fabric and you're going to extend it about a half an inch, you know, so this will go in the half seam. inch, one inch. Well, this is just so that uh, the sides are going to go in the seam. Yeah. But this just is for good measure. And I'm going to make sure, can we get up close on this right here, Allie? Okay. So this, again, do you see the tape right here? I'm just placing this over and it's approximately about a half an inch above. Okay, just to help us get it started. And we want to also make sure that we are covering the lines, um, the placement lines for this. Uh, would you, let's grab that pink, because I don't know how well that's showing through. Okay, that's a good idea. There we go. Does that pink show a little bit better? Okay, so do you see the placement outlines right here? We're gonna make sure that this fabric extends above the one placement line and it covers the other. Now, someone asked yesterday, um, is it gonna be a problem if they already cut their fabric? Remember how um, when we cut our fabric before, it was actually to the, about the same size as the placement line? Mm -hmm. Well, Kimberbell made new instructions that you could cut it a little bit wider, that therefore it would total, absolutely cover that. Mm -hmm. You could do that, but if even if you had cut it to be exact, don't fret. You just make sure that it's exactly along those lines, okay? All right, so we're using some paper tape here. Do you could, pull that? I do, I pull it nice and taut, but not tight. Not, not. And then I just thick. smooth it over. You're not stretching it. No, you don't wanna stretch it. And yeah, you could use a glue stick as well. You could absolutely use a glue stick. Now, when I show on the next one, what, what Kathy likes to do, I will show you using a glue stick, okay? All right, so that is that. Um, we have it smoothed over. Let me just make sure. And I wanna make sure to point out, look, this is the extra fabric that's hanging off the bottom. The bottom, not the top. Exactly, hanging off the bottom. And that's good, that's what we want, because that's gonna help us get that continuous border, all right? Okay, Doris likes double side tape idea. Yeah, mm -hmm. you could do that as well. All right, so let's come back over here and we'll insert this into the hoop. And this is going to do my tack down stitches. And like Kyle said, it's just on both sides but not along the bottom and not along the top. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot down. And this stitch will be in the seam. Mm -hmm. So don't fret if it's not, nope. you know, the same. Okay, or, or if it's not the same color thread or anything like that, because it will be in the seam. That's also a good place to make sure you're, you're starting your next one right. In the mm. right spot. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Let's take a look. I like the tape look. idea because sometimes if you don't get it taut enough, mm -hmm. then you get a wave. Ah, very true. Yeah, that's why the tape idea is so important, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's ready to stitch out, but I want to show you what it looks like. So I took it out of the machine all right so do you see that again the only reason why i have black thread in here is because i want it to show on camera but if i were doing this at home i would just use the same color thread i had from beginning to end whatever my you know quilting was going to be right mm -hmm. okay so this again is just holding it in place and now when i put it back on my machine it's going to stitch out joy to the world all right. And you want to do that in your embroidery color? Or are you um, going to do it in the black? I am going to do it in my embroidery color. You use this one? 
And the one I'm using is champagne. Yeah. Yep. And do we have some scissors? Scissors. Here? What did we? Oh, here they are. I don't know where the other ones went. There we go. That works. Oh, there we go. Okay. So as I'm changing the thread, what questions might you have? Okay, we're just going through like the, some of you are liking the double-sided tape idea. Yeah, I just love using the paper tape because it's handy. I yes, have, I have it I have already the by my machine. Paper tape, so um, it makes it very handy to do. Okay. Ah, uh, thanks, Becky. Shout out to Abby and Allie. She says, "Amazing camera work, ladies." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't Becky the sweetest? We love <laughs> Becky. All right, here we go. Okay, let's go ahead and watch the magic and see how this stitches out. Do you ever start your, your borders? You could. You Oh yes, you absolutely could. Yes, for sure. Can we get up close on this one? Oh, that's a good idea. Mary's wondering if anyone's done one stain on top and the other on the bottom. Oh, that could absolutely good. work. Yeah. Julie finds it easier to cut the fabric at one and a half inch to start with and not have to trim it later. And yeah, that's how I've always done it. I've never had any problems being really? able to do it at one and a half. But there was a lot of feedback from people saying, mm -hmm. you know, they wanted it wider. So again you have options yep but if you did it one and a half then you just line it up right along those edges and you could tape it down in a few you spots could. you could that's if a good you idea wanted to um so either way let's go ahead and take a closer look that's at this pretty. isn't that pretty mm -hmm. so i chose champagne i wanted it to be still subtle mm -hmm. um but at least still show up and i, I think I think it does the job. Let me see if I can get closer on that. Whoa! The angle. The, oh, I'll take it to the little camera over here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. How cool is that? Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. It is. Okay. So let's take a look and see what do we do next? What do we do next? All right. We're gonna grab our instructions again and I'll bring it over to this camera. And I'm on page five. So if you're following along, here we go. Where we just finished stitching the background quilting stitch. All right. Now, where did my next page go? Mm -hmm. Six. Six. That was six. Am I missing a page? No, we did five, wasn't it? Oh, oh um, hmm. I just finished that one. The small beans. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> step there five, page five. Okay, I'm on page six now. Yeah, okay, good We're job. Good. We're good, good job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right here. I'm like, where did that go? Okay. We're because it started over it with finished. step number one, and I was like, "Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Why?" What? You no. question yourself. Because I question myself. This is because we now do additional hoopings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this tells us we, we have additional finished hoopings. That step. Uh -huh. We finished yeah. that embroidery. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, so uh, it's now time to remove the project from the hoop. We trim the excess stabilizer, but what? Look at this in yellow. If you need to put blaring lights on this, do do so. Do not trim the fabric or the batting. No. Okay. Do not trim the fabric or the batting. All right. So let's do that first. And Kyle, I'll let you do the honors. Okay. Okay. So let's. Um, I'm gonna take, take that this out, out of the hoop. hoop right. Yeah. I'm gonna take it out of the hoop, and you go ahead and trim. And again, 
I want you to notice that when she trims, she's only trimming the stabilizer. Stabilizer, stabilizer only. I'm going to lift this up, right, Chris? Uh-huh. Yeah, make my... sure. Yeah. Don't, I don't, don't want to cut that. In there. <laughs> and do you cut right at the line, the stitch line? Uh-huh. Or do you leave a little bit? No, I cut right at it. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm watching. You got this. Very closely. Okay. So I did that one first. And then I just lined it up. And I don't want to cut off this end either. The end that we went over. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm left handed. This isn't good. Oh, I forgot about that, Kyle. We should have grabbed a rotary cutter for you. That's okay. Okay. I'm used to this. Okay. Okay. All right. So we did we're it. Go ahead and set that aside, and we're ready to add on. Um. Oh, that's a good idea. Kim said, if you leave it in the hoop and use a seam ripper, it's so oh, easy. That's yeah, not you, a bad you idea. Could definitely do that as well. Great idea. Okay. Laurel, the, I, right now I'm using, I believe this is um, an 8 by 12, but you could do it in a 6 by 10 on that one. But this is just what I had handy. Okay. So again, those of you who have smaller hoops, you could have done that um, with your smaller hoop. Again, if if you have like five by seven, then you're going to do like the one by sevens, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you had because the um, seven is by the 10, size of your hoop, exactly. If you're if you have a six by ten, then you're going to do it that way. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what happens next. So what Kyle did was she trimmed the excess stabilizer, mm -hmm. right? Because it just gets in your way. Exactly. And now what it tells us to do, I'm going to try and clean this up a little bit. This space is looking awfully <laughs> junky. <laughs> it looks like a regular sewing room. It totally does. Doesn't it? Okay. Hi, Peggy. Welcome. Um, Tina, I use champagne color for my lettering. Champagne is just a kind of a light tan. Mm -hmm. All right. I just wanted a, a little bit darker than the tan fabric, but it's not too, too crazy. But that was, again, a personal preference. Okay. So it tells us here, place the completed border on a flat surface. All right. So that's what I've done. And fold the border right sides together with the batting tack down line on the fold. So what I'm doing here is I'm pulling this back on itself, all right, to where that you see the line you, where you can see the line. So this is exactly where um, Kyle had cut. All right. So right here is where Kyle cut. So that's and important so, to see that. Uh, definitely. And you can see here that I just folded it right on back on top of it so right this, sides together. is this helpful or do you have questions about what i'm doing right here okay i'm just right sides are together i took all that extra fabric that was hanging in the wind right because that's the length of your pillow mm -hmm. exactly okay you're gonna just leave it there for right now all right because now i want to um re-hoop and i have my light mesh cutaway here and I have to load the desired embroidery feel, uh, file. Because so, now it's a different one, right? Now it's a different one. So I'll bring that up here. Let's see. Right here. I'm doing option A. I just finished doing 1 by 10. And now I'm going to do 1 by 12. You know what? Maybe, did I do 1 by 10? I wonder if I no, did eight. that. Hmm. Let me look. I might have done that wrong. I might have pulled up the wrong file, actually. Let's but see. It's okay. Yeah, it's totally fine. Okay. So let me take a look and see what I did. Um, mm -hmm. 
Oh no, we're good. Okay. So now what does it say I'm doing? One by 12. All right. So I'm going to do one by 12, which is right here and set. Okay. Now here's another thing you could, if you wanted to, you could, I'm going to go back and delete. You could just repeat the same words over and over again. You could. It doesn't have to be, you know, all the same. Sometimes um, on, a, on a border, they will repeat the same mm -hmm. one. This exactly. one is so, completing the whole line. So, you know, if you, oh, wrong one. There we go. There we go. Okay. So if you wanted to just repeat over and over again, especially, for example, um, yeah, they're hard to read. Yeah, I'm trying to read this up close. Let's see. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and do, let me do the, if I'm going to do a continuous one, mm -hmm. let's just bring in the one by seven. The Lord has come, yep. right? Yep. Because I, all I have right now is joy to the world, right. correct? Okay. Right. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep finishing it with the one by seven. I love the fact the that Lord in between come. these sayings, uh -huh. These embroideries, yeah, they have stars. Yeah, it's so cute, isn't it? So I just it's love the way it's easier to line the stars up. I oh, think. there you go. Hey, the stars are aligned, right? <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So go back if if you're just joining us and you haven't been with us yet. Um, I did talk earlier about if you wanted to combine designs, do more than one in one hooping. Um, you'll find that. To hopefully to be very helpful yeah, so that absolutely. you can get the most out of your hoop, out of your stabilizer mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit embroidery here and I'm ready to do what? It's going to stitch the, the placement line, placement line for the it. batting, right? Okay. So I'll go ahead and put my first foot down. step. The first step. And then let's do um, what Kathy likes doing and we'll measure that and oh. cut the batting to be exact. Okay. Okay. And no matter what size hoop you have, it's the same steps. Mm -hmm, you just mm -hmm. could have a longer save. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. I think that was, yeah, it should be a one by seven. Should be a one by seven. Okay. If you want that to be a continuous, mm -hmm. like the, the words of the song. Okay. So let's take a look at what's happening here. And I'm going to bring my pink mat again. Oh, we didn't stitch this in I black. I didn't stitch it in black. Darn it. But guess what I'm going to do? <laughs> Draw. Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> I like to do this. Oh, if I had a black marker. Oh, here we go. I got okay, it. Okay, good. Okay. I'm... Will it go through on your thing? <laughs> um, if it does, I'll just use something else to get rid of it. This is it just to show where this it is. This is just to show because I camera. forgot to use black thread. So just want to make sure everyone can see this. Okay. Does that help? Okay, so this is where we're going to put our batting. Now, again, you could do it according to the instructions where, you know, it's a half inch bigger than the finished or a lot of people like the two inches bigger uh, than the finish or not two inches bigger, an inch bigger than the finished. But I'm going to do a different method right now where I'm going to cut it exactly like it is here. So it's one inch by seven inches. And this is what Kathy has put up on Friends? Yeah. So if you want um, the, the pictures of that, you can find it on our Friends of My Girlfriends. So you would do this when you're first cutting it out of your batting roll. You don't cut two um, inches and then cut it down. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. So this is going to be a way to save you some steps, save on some batting too. So again, and just to mm -hmm. emphasize what I'm doing here, this is one inch across. All right. So we've got that one. Okay. Do you see how that just fits right mm -hmm. in, Kyle? So do you skip the like next I need to go step? A little bit. Um, you or will, will you go ahead and stitch it? Let's see. You will skip the the 
tack down of, of the, the batting. batting. Yes. And that's why we use the glue stick. I got it. So one, let me sorry. grab a glue stick here. And you could either put it on the batting itself or you could put it on the stabilizer. I find it a little easier just to put it on the stabilizer. So you can see, and I'm glad I'm using purple so that that will show up um, just like that. You don't have to fill the whole thing and, in. No, no, no. Don't, don't put a ton on there. All right. Okay. This is just to help it stay. Exactly. Yep. Okay. And it's glued down in place. Genius. Okay. So again, that way we use less batting. We eliminate the step of cutting out the batting afterwards. Mm -hmm. And you eliminate one more step of the tack down stitch. Of okay. This. Okay. So is everyone clear on this? Hopefully. All right. So let's go back to the machine and put, place this in here. This glue won't uh, gum up the needle, will it? No, I don't think you've put but, enough on there. no, there's not enough on there. It, so that's why you don't want to put a ton. ton. All right. Okay. So let's take a look at the screen on my machine. All right. The screen on my machine is showing me that this is it, the tack down stitch for the batting. Well, because I have it cut to size, I can actually eliminate that step. Mm -hmm. Do you remember yesterday how we eliminated steps? Let me show you right mm -hmm. here. If we go to the plus minus on our machine, or every ma machine may be just a little bit different, but there's always a, a way to do that, um, how to move forward steps. I'm going to skip that step and move on, okay? Now, if, if I forgot to skip that step, it's fine. Yeah. It just stitches out. Mm -hmm. It's not a big deal, okay? So Jan said, don't get all that fuzz by putting glue on stabilizer. Don't get all that. Oh, yes, you don't get all that fuzz. If I were to put the glue stick on my. Yes, um, that's true. On the batting. On the batting, you're going to get lots of fuzz on yep. your glue stick. That's true. So doing it on the stabilizer works pretty well. All right. So what I'm doing next is I'll put my foot down and this is going to do the placement line for, for fabric. my fabric. Exactly. And I'll we'll show you how this all combines together. And the placement All right. line does go across Let's see, the there bottom. Was, someone the said a word of warning, so I want to see what they're saying. Pam said, word of warning, my purple glue stick never changed to clear and showed through on my light colored fabric and candy card. Oh, what a bummer. Yeah, it's wow. supposed to change to clear. Yeah. Um, on the purple, or on the batting, when you do it this way, it, the batting is thicker, so you're not going to see it. Um, but yeah, that's a really good word of warning if you... Um, are using it with light colored fabrics. You mm -hmm. want to make sure and perhaps not use the purple. Okay, I'm going to outline this again to show you where the um, placement. placement is. And again, I'm just showing you this because, or I'm just drawing on here because I didn't use black thread. All right. So there we go. And now it's time to connect what I previously had stitched out. Remember, we put this back on top of each other. So this is where we're gonna use uh, the Kimberbell paper tape. All right, and I put a piece up here, and I put a piece down here. All right, Okay. does that make sense? What do you think, Kyle? I Are think I'm gonna try that. Okay. I've never tried the tape. Okay, so then because this has been folded back on itself, what I'm going to do is I line it up right against where that batting is. Mm -hmm. Okay, right there. That's why you've trimmed your batting at the ends mm -hmm. too. And that's why I've trimmed them at the ends. And then again, make sure that you are covering all of that area. Okay, get it nice and taut, and I have, a, um, I have tape here, right, mm -hmm. to also that hold could it. go off to Definitely. the neighbors. Exactly, that's what I had happen. And if you find it helpful, you could put a 
you know, a piece of tape here and there mm -hmm. just to also hold it. Just one added measurement. Can I tell you something that, because I get so nervous doing this. What's that? I, because you've got the tack down line, before I put that tape in, mm -hmm. I make sure that this line mm -hmm. matches also. Because yeah. I'm and, double nervous. And we're going to go to our machine and I'm going to also show you that we can we can do another realignment mm -hmm. if we need to okay by moving the needle and kyle was telling me that she likes to kind of move her needle down and make sure that it's right in place yep. and that's a great idea too and so let's go to the machine and see what happens when we, we when we want to make sure everything's aligned all right so because it's important but if it gets off two threads please don't worry if no it's and not that's why it's perfect. great that they've done the stars they broke yeah, up it kind of helps wording. doesn't it yeah for sure okay so here we go here we go it's going to um do the tack down for your fabric all right and i think what i'm gonna do is if your machine has like a little laser. guide beam laser we might have to go back a little bit on this shot. On on my machine, I have a little laser guide here. Um, at, it's it's on the screen. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're going to get the machine cropped just right. Um, no. Oh, maybe you can see it, but just not on my screen. Oh, yeah, I think so. I see where your finger just is. Just barely. Can yes. you guys see where I'm pointing my finger to? Mm-hmm. Slightly to your right. Slightly to the right. Block the Chris, glare. if you move slightly to the right, you block the glare. Here, let me see if I can block it for you. <laughs> uh, now I see myself in that glare. I don't know. Not doing the can, glare? Let's let's close the, these over here and see if we can get it. It's, it's the overhead light. Oh. I think it's the overhead light, though, Yeah. unfortunately. Okay. So anyway, there's a little guide beam here. If you don't have one on your machine, just use your needle to help you out. But I'm going to go ahead and touch that. And then let's look at the machine. So we're gonna get a shot over here. Yes, thanks Sylvia, it's on the W plus. For those who have a machine that has that. Um, and we're gonna try and get as close as we can to this because you're gonna see right here, Kyle, mm -hmm. I'm just a titch off, aren't I? Yeah. Any chance to get closer or without it going fuzzy? We're doing our best. Ooh, oh, there you see it. Okay. I don't know how well you can see, but there's a little red dot here. And it shows me that I'm a titch off to the right. Not a big deal. I can adjust it. Now, if let's say you don't have a guide beam. All you have to do is take your hand wheel and let's keep it on that shot still. Okay. I'm all I'm doing is I'm what I'm doing is I'm going to the right hand side of my machine taking my hand wheel, moving it towards me so that it actually goes into where my previous line ended. I also do the needle up, needle down. Oh yeah, you could do needle up and needle down. Actually, that's a great idea too. I'll do that. Needle up, needle down. And again, I don't, you won't, may not be able to see it very well, but I can see it that it is just a titch off. Like, very minimal. Thread. It wouldn't, it's like a thread off. So it really wouldn't be that big of a deal, but I'm going to make it a big deal, right? So I'm, gonna, <laughs> so I'm going to go back over to my machine and I'm going to actually see if I can move that a little bit before I start. Okay. Oh, and you know what? It won't let me because I already put a, a thing down. Let me hold on. Let me go back a little bit. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, where are you going? All right, I just want to move my needle over. A oh, bit. okay. Okay. Ah, 
Why won't it let me move? Okay, I'm gonna move this way. There we go. Okay, and I embroidered. manipulated my fabric just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she manipulated her fabric a little bit. Yeah, you can whatever it takes, right? Mm -hmm. You can do that too. All right, I'm skipping forward because I had to move that. All right, now let's try one more time. And we're going to get over there. Now, what I want to emphasize to you is it was pretty dang close. <laughs> it was. Right? It was pretty dang close. So I don't want you to worry. Yeah, that looks really good. Okay. Let's go for it, shall we? Okay. Oh, let me come back. Whoops. I so need, we're on the I forgot, down line. I forgot the tack down line. Well, yeah, let's see. Go back. Okay. Now I need to get to the tack down line and back. There we go. There we go. And I put my foot or my needle down. Oh, oh yeah. That looks I beautiful. am right on. Right on. Beautiful. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put our foot down and let's do the tack down stitches, shall we? Nice. I was freaked out to try and do continuous hooping. It's not too bad, right? No, it's not. The yeah. steps that they have you go through make it easier yeah definitely so this again is just doing the tack down stitch uh laurel all of the replays are going to be located right here on our main facebook page as well as on our youtube channel so, cool. so so cool right <laughs> so the youtube the youtubes youtube it's on the youtubes the YouTube. kyle the youtubes <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is and, so dead on. Uh, I, it couldn't have gotten any line. better. I know. Ah, love that. Love awesome. that. No, it's because I know the... Your machine. I know my machine and I know the things that I can do with my machine. And when you can move a design over or your needle over, it makes the biggest <laughs> difference. Yes. So, all right, let's go ahead and stitch this out. If you did not get it spot on, it would make you crazy, wouldn't it? No. No? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, no, no. Mm -mm. It would not make me crazy. I've given up perfection, Kyle. Good job. Yeah, it's it's oh, it's overrated. <laughs> yes, it is. Besides, it makes you crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the fact that they bolded out the word Lord. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of you didn't know about the guide beam. Yes, mm -hmm. it's awesome. Um, Thank you. Oh, thanks, Candy. And yeah, you're right, Diane. Working around that camera is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. There are three cameras right in right this where you area, need to put your which fingers. is awesome because that's that way we can get this some is... great shots. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it can be a little, <laughs> little crazy. Okay. Oh yeah, Pamela. These will always stay up. No worries there. Okay. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, mm -hmm. finished embroidering. <laughs> We got the little okay. music. We got this. All right. Nice. There we go. Looks good. Nice. And like you said, the, the stars are there, which also can be very helpful mm -hmm. so that it's not, it's totally fine. If it's not exact, you really don't have to worry about it. Mm -mm. Um, Lisa, how did you do that? You hit the guide beam and then what? When I hit the guide beam, Lisa, then I could see exactly where my needle position was at, and then I was able to move my Because where that light is, is right where your needle goes down, right? Yes, where the light is, is exactly where the needle's going to go. It's like your needle placement line. All right. Okay, friends. So you just continue this over same and over. Same steps. Same steps. Just keep on going. So keep the on next trekking. one will be... Is there a third wording or is that a statement? Yeah, done? no, I could do um, let earth receive. Okay, earth, so just uh, be aware of king, which king. one you're choosing. Or it's king. Let's see. Yeah. Or guess what, Kyle? If mm -hmm. I chose the wrong one, it would still be fine. Nope. One it is. No, nobody noticed if no, I did no. or not. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. So, oh, I should have, I should have cut it out with that seam ripper like someone had said oh, yeah. earlier. But again, now all you're going to do is trim this up. Then let's think about what I do next. I 
I pull this back on itself. Remember, when you trim, you're only trimming the stabilizer. That's it. Yeah, your okay. batting should already be trimmed. All right. And then you just pull this back and you continue to add. Kathy, the instructions are found in the background quilting files. Um, on when you when you purchase the background quilting files, that's where you're going to find the instructions for block by block quilting. Okay. Remember, any border print or any border quilt design on Kimberbell.com. If it's in light gray, it means it's directional. So for example, this one is directional. Yeah. We've got words, we have the little town of Bethlehem. Light gray means directional. If it's in a dark gray, it doesn't matter the direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so very important to remember. All right, friends, we are going to move on now to the outer border. Oh yes, Laurel asked, could you use the projector on the Solaris to line up? Absolutely. <laughs> That's if I were one of the reasons home, why you bought it. And I were on my Solaris, I would absolutely 100% be using the projector. But that's okay because there's, there's lots of ways to do it, right? Okay, so I'm going to have Kyle, I'm going to ask Kyle to um, sew for us right now because this is okay. where you will need to take out the sewing machine. And I want to show you how easy it is to um, change over to a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. It's pretty dang, dang fast. All right. So if we come back over here to the screen, I'm going to go to my home button. Because we finished this design. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hit sewing. And it says, you know what? The carriage is going to move out of the way. Guess That's what? It moved so nice. all the way. And I don't have to even take it off. Yeah, in in fact, I never take off my carriage. I don't even. I, I just always leave it on. Uh, I'm able to sew without it so nice and big. I don't even worry about it. But that's how what we're going to do. And now we're in sewing mode. That's as easy as it was. All we have to do is change out the foot pile. Mm -hmm. And it looks right like, here. oh, you've got the little screwdriver. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put this on. Yeah. And I'm going to show Carol how to cut the five and three fourths. Good job. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Uh, let me grab. Let's see. Where's the best way to show this? While she's switching out. No, you're not changing the needle, are you? Um, am I changing the needle? No, I'm not going to change the needle. Okay, I'm too lazy. Me too. <laughs> Me too. All right, let's go right up here to the cutting mat and you change your bobbin. This is for you, Carol, and any. No, I don't take bobbin. Okay, and anyone else who can get um, confused on cutting, which is completely understandable. That I'm so glad you asked the question, okay? Because sometimes we're afraid to ask questions, but there's a lot more people out there who have the questions. So I'm glad you asked. Okay, Carol, for purposes of filming, I'm not all the way to the left-hand side of my camera, okay? Or to the mat. I'm actually starting at the 10-inch line, all right? Just so that it's right here in the middle. So I'm at the 10-inch line. If I need to cut five and three-fourths, I need to cut five and three fourths, then I'm going to go to 15 and three fourths. Well, that's right here. Now, let me, let's see if we, can we get up close on this one, Allie? Okay. All right. I'm going to try and see as close as we can get for you. You have a quarter inch allowance on there? Oh. Okay. All right. So hopefully you can see the lines right here. Um, right here is the five inch mark. If I go over just a little bit, there's gonna be lines on your cutting mat. You're at an eighth, a little bit more over is a fourth, a little bit more over is three eighths and halfway between is the half inch. Then after the half, half inch, we get to five eighths and then six eighths, which is essentially three fourths. So this is where I cut. Now let me let me tell you how to do this in, um, with some different verbiage here. Uh, Carol, if you take a look between, let's see if we can see here. Uh, let me grab a pin. Or there's my little handy screwdriver. This came in handy yesterday, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. All right. If you look at your ruler, 
you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You have seven markings with the eighth marking essentially being on the one inch line. All right. So we have this is essentially one of eight lines. This is two of eight lines, three. So that's why we have an eighth, a fourth, three eighths, a half, which is essentially four eighths, right? Mm -hmm. If we were to divide that, that would be, end up being a half. That's where we get the half from. Then we have the next line is five eighths. The next line is six eighths, which actually ends up being three fourths when we, you know, divide that down. So your three fourths is almost to your, your full inch, but it's a quarter inch away because there are four quarters in one inch. Mm -hmm. Four quarters in one inch. Mm -hmm. Okay. So is that helpful? Um, I, I hope that you found that to be helpful, Carol. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys love the PDF from Kathy. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. And let's see if you have any other questions, let me know. That's that is what we're here for. Mm -hmm. we, we try to do our yes. best and answer, answer as you're going. All. So that helps. Okay. Them. All right. Oh, good. I'm glad, Carol. And if again, any other questions that pop up, you just let us know. All right, friends. So um, let's go back to our. I loaded white thread because I couldn't find any darker thread, just so you know. I would, oh, okay. That's I would fine. sew it with darker. Oh, no, no problem. Okay, so I am on page 24. Okay, page 24 of finishing the pillow. This is the regular pillow instructions. We're going to take a break from the quilting to piece the border together, and then we'll go back to quilting it. Okay, so if you take a close look right here, I am at outer border. And outer border tells us that we're going to end up using the KDQ 234 border, Christmas 6, with a three inch width. All right, so I think we've got that on the screen. Let me, let me put that up. Oh, yeah, let's put this. Okay, let me try this real quick. Okay, so this is what we're going to be using. So if you want to pull that up on your uh, machine, you could do that. And the outer border needs to be pieced first. So I went ahead and placed that up there. It says piece together the border pieces, making sure that the four inch B pieces are at the ends of the rows. And then you sew the pieces right sides together along the short edges. So this is going to be a little bit different if you are doing traditional quilting, because because I believe those were all cut to be three and a half, but the outside borders are actually, if for those of you doing block by block, they did make them a little bit larger, again, just to help with the ease of doing block by block quilting, mm -hmm. okay? If you cut it at three and a half, it's not the end of the world, I promise. You'll be just fine. But they did do four inch for, to give more wiggle room yes on both ends okay you will not be sorry with wiggle room <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's, it's easier to go down mm -hmm. than it is to go mm -hmm. up which that was the case oh with yeah our weight. No. <laughs> we're not talking about that today so much easier to go <laughs> up yes it is <laughs> than down i got okay. that down that's right we got that one down pat all right so we're gonna make sure that the B pieces are at the ends of the rows. We sew them right sides together, long short edges, quarter inch seam allowance, and then we're gonna quilt as a, a unit. So this is one B, and then you've got one two A, three A, and so forth. Um, Cause they're two different sizes, right? Let's see. Yes. Oh, you so should have Kyle, seen me laying this out. How do you wanna do this, my friend? <laughs> yep. Do Every think, other one. Do you think there's a right or wrong way of doing this? Mm -hmm, probably not. Nope. I would say not. Okay. Does it go this way or this way? That way. This way. Yep. Yeah, All right. Because I tried so, to the other way. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got how many of these together? 
We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to just piece these all together. Again, uh, when we piece, we just put right sides together and then we sew along with a quarter inch seam allowance. Mm -hmm. These are the bigger pieces. So remember your bigger pieces are going to go on the ends. If you forgot to cut those pieces bigger, please do not stress about it. No, You're going to be more. just fine. So we're going to take a look at Kyle Ooh. and she's going to stitch those together. We'll press those seams open and then we're going to quilt those babies. So okay. um, let's see, what other questions do we have while she's doing this? Uh, blah, 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 blah. How many times with the words repeat on the inner border if using both seams? Uh, Debbie is asking. Oof. I am not sure. I, I mean, can't remember. Do you have that both sayings on yours? Yeah, Kyle? I do. Let me count for you. All I right. I hope I did them right. <laughs> now you're looking close. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh god, Chris. <laughs> Don't make me you're, have a heart you're attack. You're so funny. Okay. Hers receive, hers king. You well, joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her king is once and then you have joy to the then world. Then I started over. The Lord. So it's like one and a half times maybe. Mm -hmm. So does that help Debbie? Okay, let's take a look. Suzanne's question. Um, I accidentally cut the dotted fabric with the F9 chart instead of the F8 chart. Will that be a big problem? I then cut the F9 fabric. No, not, not a problem. Not a problem. Oh, no wonder why that's No, not. you'll be, you'll be good. Uh, Julie, she's on her, she sewed one, one by 14, then a one by 12 and then a one by 14. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Lisa, the PDF is that we talked about with, um, a kind of a, just a little bit different way of doing the, um, the border blocks is found on our friends of my girlfriend's quilt shop page and you'll find it there and Kathy could you give a link to that page that would be awesome that's where you can find files okay. all right and basically what that page is saying again is just the fact that um, with your batting just cut it exactly to the size that has stitched out the placement line. Glue it in place, just a little bit of light glue, and then um, just put it on. And that's that's a, a great way to save a couple steps. Yes. Here. Okay. Looks like Kathy just posted that. Awesome. Um, if I do a bigger, oh, let's see, Carol, one by one by fourteen. Do I do the second one two? Oh no, don't do the second one two by fourteen. You keep the same width. So if you did a one by 14, do again another one by 14. All right. Or a one by 12 or one by 10. You want to keep the same width. All right. So if you start with one inch, continue with one inch. Mm -hmm. If you start with a two inch, you continue with a two inch. Now you're not going to do a two inch on this particular project, but isn't it nice that you have that yes. in your quilting library if you want to use it for other projects, right? So, but on this project, we're keeping with one inch. Great question. Um, if the second number is the hoop size, how long is the actual design? Well, um, it is going to be, uh, the, the best way to know is, well, a couple of ways. You could look in the download. It will have that, you know, listed there. Or you can just take um, your ruler and just measure what it ends up being. Okay, whoa, where did that come from? Well, <laughs> we just had fireworks in, cool. in there. Cool. Okay. Do you think Eric's playing a trick on us? <laughs> Eric is in Canada right now, but um, <laughs> I'm wondering if he's like trying to play some tricks on us or something. I don't I know. Put it past him. <laughs> that is wild. That is weird. Um, Let's see, are the stars in the background of the cult section that included in the CD for the pillows? No, those are a separate Super. purchase uh, found on Kimberbell.com. And we have um, an affiliate link we would love for you to use if that is something that you'd like to purchase. Okay, how are we doing over here, Kyle? Great. 
Great. Okay, and we have the iron on, so that's ready to go. And she is almost finished. <laughs> oh. I know, right, Lulu? She says it's not even um, April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Diane said, I think that was her aha moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hmm. gosh, that is so wild. I, why that hasn't happened the previous days, I have no idea. But there's some kind of gremlin mm -hmm. on the other mm -hmm. side. Mm -hmm. That's uh, it's saying, might be gonna, Eric. It could be Eric. Could be. What time is it in Canada right now? <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Okay. Um, what color thread was used on the sample in the larger border? You know what you use, Miss Kyle? Same one I used on the background, I think. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. the same one she used on the background, which was just kind of a lighter blue. Mm -hmm. Did I put the right amount? Uh, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Oh, phew, I nice. can count. Nice, nice, nice. That's all okay. you did is put them. That's it. The two long ones are on the ends. Make sure your two long ones are on the ends. And if it's not, it won't be any big deal. Exactly. Exactly. No big deal. No sweating over small stuff. No. We all do right. not. Okay, so we're going to use this fancy iron over here. Yes. And I think it's, yep. Now, how are you uh, pressing the seam? You didn't press them open you or anything? You know what? It doesn't am, matter. I am just going to yep. press. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever you like. <laughs> Too easy. There we go. <laughs> Word on the street is the case. Yeah. <laughs> I won't say what I normally <laughs> say. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's what they put in the bathroom. Yep, is that what you're going to say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. So we have all of this. Piece sewed them with together. a quarter inch seam. Quarter inch seam. Yep. And now we're going to do the same thing we did. Before. Just treat it like a big long piece. Just treat it like one big long piece. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've got a few more minutes. Let's go ahead and, and do that. All, All right. right. So you want me to so go ahead and change to do, quilting? Yeah, let's go back to quilting and sh let's see how easy this is to go back to, oh, yeah. to the um, embroidery. All this. right. All I have to do is take the foot off. That's it. Did I, where did I put the... I think you hand it to me. It's over there by your phone. The quilting foot. Oh, yep. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, don't forget to put your quilting foot back on. <laughs> My friend did it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. It won't yep. be very, it won't look as nice. No. Exactly. Okay. And okay. then you just hit embroidery and it's done. Easy. Yep. Easy peasy. All right. Okay. And always be aware that your arm will move. Yeah. For sure. Okay, so now we're going to, um, yeah, Dan says, this is why you need two machines, one set up for sewing, one for embroidery. What's Yeah, the which blue? is also very nice. What was it? Um, one? Yeah, let's go ahead and use that one. Is that the one we used? Uh, no, the one we used yesterday ran out. Oh, it but did? I did find a color that was really close. Let me, let me okay. check real quick. That light right. blue color. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, yesterday mm -hmm. we were using that Madeira blue, right? right? And you didn't panic protein. that you ran out. Because this panic. is borders. No one's really going to exactly. know what it is. So I could use light blue. I actually have in my notes that I was going to use champagne. And now I can't decide what I want to do. Oh, you're going to do champagne gonna, on the I was going to do border? champagne again. But I don't have to. What no. do you think I should do? I like the light blue. Okay, let's go with light blue. All right, so I'm going to go with light blue, and we're going to pop this on. Okay. How are we doing on bobbin thread? I haven't changed mm, We that might want to. So we don't have it stop in the middle of it. What do you think? It's close. Well, we're going to play bobbin chicken for a minute. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. so we're gonna. See. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. They said. Mm -hmm. 
you guys can all remind me that when I, uh, <laughs> yeah, when the, the bobbin runs out. <laughs> we have another one there, right? All right. Uh, we do. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go back to the machine and find the file that we're looking for. And that is, let's go here. And I'm looking for the three inch because that is what it tells us in the instructions. Mm -hmm. Oops, too far. Okay, let me see. I think, I believe this is an, I can't, I don't know if I have an, a six by 10 or not. So we'll see, it what. will tell us if it is. Yes. Yeah, change, I must have a six by 10 on. Okay, My okay. Hopes, I write on them so I know what size it is. You know, I don't know why all the manufacturers don't. No have those printed and the, the funny thing is some of them do and some of them what don't. is the measurement and the inside is that what they No, it's oh. it's really not it's yeah it's not three i'm gonna do a three by ten okay all right because i have a six by ten hoop on and it's number 234 um yes is that what it says yep. on there yeah okay so you can see here i'm gonna go ahead and hit embroidery and it's going to stitch the placement line for my batting. Oh, did I thread it? I didn't thread it. Oh, you didn't. Oh. <laughs> I always and... get it in there and then I forget to thread it. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. I do that a lot too. Luckily, I caught it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There we go. We're, we're in business. Um, yes, I am using a light blue Hemingworth. And let me see. I can probably tell you the color number. It is, I'll tell you in a minute, as soon as I take that off. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to scrub your stitches. No. Let's grab that pink mat again. Okay. Um, that will show up a little bit easier. Okay pull it out and I'm going to tell you the thread color it is winter blue number 1189 winter blue perfect yeah all right friends let's take a look um I'm gonna just draw oh, over this again. so you can see what that's all this, this is stitched for. out yep you normally do not have to do that no. <laughs> Okay, today's been information overload, Julie. <laughs> oh shoot! Come back. I, I come hope. Back again. I hope it's. Uh, I hope it's sinking in. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay, if we want to do it exactly as we had talked about earlier, we could measure this, which is three inches by eight inches. Okay. Um, so I guess that answers your question. Oh, who was that earlier, Doris? I can't remember. Someone had asked. Is it, maybe Laurel, asked if it was the same exact measurement as the hoop, and it is not. Okay? Oh, no. It is not. So this would end up being three by eight. All right. But. Um, you cut it yep, that the works. size that they I said. cut it according to the size it had in there. But you know what? I can recut it. Look at that. That's three inches. And let's. Do this. I'm going to sub cut it to eight inches. 15 plus eight is 23. <laughs> Give Chris a second. There we go. Okay. So do you see how Look it fits that. right there? There we go. Nice. So, so then, then you don't have to come back and cut your batting. Exactly. This just eliminates the step of having to cut the batting. That's it. And do you see it's just exactly. little, little, little bit right here. Okay. And we're going to put our batting down. I might try that. Yeah, works out pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to put it back in the machine. It's going to, I'm going to skip over yes. the batting pack down. Now, because that goes had, around twice. Exactly. Had I not done that, had I not done what I just did, yes, I would be stitching the batting line. Right. But now that I cut it actually to size, I don't have to, I don't have to do that. It would be a waste. So I, yeah. Exactly. So let's go back over to the machine. And 
we'll bring up the machine screen for just a moment. Yeah, th that is regular glue, Lucy. I just used an Elmer's glue stick. Sure did. All right. We'll get the camera right here up on the screen in just a second. Okay, perfect. So um, remember, I'm going to skip over the tack down stitch. All right, I don't need the tack down stitch now because um, we're eliminating the step of cutting the, the batting out. So I'm going to my plus minus button right here. And I'm just moving ahead by one full color change. And that takes and me to my next And it showed you up step. here. Yeah, if you didn't know, like, let me go back. That's two out of five. If I go forward, it's now three out of five. Okay, that's yeah. what I have to do. Because sometimes I don't remember where yeah. I'm Yeah, yeah, that's an excellent idea. So now what's going to happen, I'm going to put my foot down. And it's going to stitch out the placement line for my fabric. And it stitches right along that batting. What do you look for? The border. Oh, right here. Oops. And you did oh, not yeah, put sure any me. any stabilizer or I, backing. No, I didn't. I didn't do any kind of backing on it. You could put backing on it. You could starch mm -hmm. it or either. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, Julie, <laughs> you have old Elmer glue sticks that are white and they still work. Well, bonus, <laughs> mm -hmm. bonus for sure if they still work. That's, yeah. Half the time I, I'm like so don't excited know. and I go, oh, and then uh, no, it's not gluey anymore. Would you outline that while I grab sure. a drink of water? I was gonna say, did we bring water in? <clears throat> I say I have a pretty steady hand. Very <laughs> impressed. I was a little bit worried. Yes, Carol, you would pick, because I know you have a bigger machine that can do a nine and a half by 14. You would choose the three inch by 14 inch. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So do you see here, this is the placement outline for our border. But before we do that, I'm going to take a little piece of Kimberbell paper tape right here. Get that out of the way and roll this up. Okay, at the top and again at the bottom. You see both both of those pieces of tape, top and bottom. Because if you didn't put this on, it could move your fabric. Oh, definitely. Absolutely. And again, I even like to put just for added measure. I'd like to put a few more pieces of tape. That's so a good idea. remember in the instructions, we're going to place this just about a half an inch above this line just to start out with. Now we don't do that again, mm -mm. Um, but we do do that on this one. Okay. At the very first one you do. And I'm going to just press that in place over top. And you'll see here that I've got another piece of tape. And I bring this over the top. And then I just kind of massage that down, smooth that down. You're not like stretching that. it? No, you don't want to stretch it. And then I am going to put just a few pieces of tape just for added measure. I learned not to be stingy and say, <laughs> oh, I don't want to spend that money with that tape. But you know, what a difference it makes. Well, and I, I will actually reuse tape too me too so you know it, whatever you can you can do that okay so now it's going to stitch all the way across there all right let's see it all unfold this is really cool i'm excited about this design mm -hmm. i loved it you all this? right yeah okay i'm gonna go ahead and put my foot down and begin stitching Yep, double-sided tape works great, too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, so it's first doing the placement, or excuse me, the tack-down stitch. And again, it's going on both sides. It doesn't go along the top and bottom because we need it to be continuous. This is just a really good idea. I've done it without that. Oh, yeah. Don't and skip that no, step. Don't skip that don't step. Don't skip it. And again, make sure that your border <laughs> is coming down. 
down from the hoop. On the very first start, yep. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, Jan stores her glue sticks in a plastic sandwich bag. Oh, there true. There you go. Because they could dry, they do dry out. Yeah. So, so now I, you're just stitching? Yeah, now it's just going to stitch out the house, little houses. Now, I think the houses are just the same thing repeated, right? Uh-huh. Yep, they're the same same one repeated over and over. Or the same grouping of houses, I should say. Let's see if we can get an up close. I like to one. try and guess where it's going to go next. <laughs> do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> Uh, it's mesmerizing to it watch, is. isn't it? And how precise it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kathy put a link for Kimberbell paper tape. Awesome. Good idea. And I used to not put it in my uh, tape dispenser. Oh, don't you love the tape oh, dispensers? Oh, it made me crazy not having <laughs> that. Yes. I love them because, per first of all, they're so cute. <laughs> Did you see how? And then it's is? nice and heavy. I love orange. <laughs> Sherry says the dreaded feeling that it will go outside the lines. Uh -huh. <laughs> but look, Sherry, it doesn't. Nope. nope. <laughs> this is just stitching out beautiful. Yes. Get that out of the way. I love the palm trees. Yeah, <laughs> they're cute, aren't they? And this is the same way you did that uh, smaller border. Same steps. Exactly the same steps. It's just wider, different design. Yep. Oh, my goodness. That's a great shot, guys. Nice job. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> They're so funny. We love these ladies. Yeah. Changed your life, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told them I count my lucky stars every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that they're both here. Margaret says she loves this design. Yes. Yay. Yeah, so, so cute. Sometimes when I learn something new, like continuous hooping, mm -hmm. I have to rewatch the video. Yeah, and that can be that's helpful. Why I we have it recorded. I have to remind myself sometimes. It's okay. Like, okay, now how 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 did I do that step again? Uh -huh. And you know, and then and then it comes back. It's like riding yes, a bike. And exactly. you're like, oh, what was I so Just worried about? Just gotta get about, started right? on how to how to begin this. Exactly. Like, oh, I get it. Exactly. I get it. So we have. Let's see. Two more minutes. How about we pull out that seam ripper? Very real quick. impressed that you're right on today. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kyle. Okay, you're not taking it out of the hoop to, to I'm, trim I'm gonna, this. I'm going to save my tape mm -hmm. right here. So I'm just going to set it aside and then I can reuse it. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, let's see. Oh, look oh, at that. Genius. That was genius. a great idea. This way you got some resistance on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you couldn't quite do this as easily if you took it out. Took it out of the hoop. Okay. okay. And now you're going to trim the bottom that was easy. part. And then trim the bottom. What did I do right there? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you don't get your fabric. Yep. Because your batting's already trimmed. Exactly. Sometimes uh, I Perfect. leave a little bit on the end. Do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There we go. Easy peasy. So um, that one is done. And then uh, what you would do. You put on a card. Oh, my goodness. You could put that on a mm -hmm. card. That would mm -hmm. stitch out so pretty on a card. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. So what would we do, my friends? We would just put start over again we start over we would put this here we would um you know stitch the placement outline for the batting and then remember this let's see when we, we when we add this we're just going to fold it on top of itself where where we had cut it 
Mm -hmm. And then we just place that along the top after the batting of that yep. batting, right? And then that just goes on and we just continue that method all and the you way can down. Move your needle if you need to. Yes. Or Don't be afraid to move your design or move your needle, whichever way your machine your will allow you to, or manipulate your fabric. <laughs> or it's tiny, tiny just bit. not worry about it. Oh, <laughs> right? oh like, what a great idea. You, you could just let it go. Because <laughs> let it go. Because <laughs> right. it's really, really stitching the same thing. So it should actually be pretty darn close. Yeah. It That's will. what I love. It will. It will for Could sure. Have you seen that again? No. It's <laughs> darn. <laughs> now sometimes it just comes out. You just never yes. know. You just never know. There is no encore here. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, right, friends. We hope you learned something new today, or maybe we're be uh, reminded of something yes. or inspired to try. Uh, we want you to share in the comments about something that you learned, your aha moment, mm -hmm. something you're excited about, whatever it is, go ahead and share away. And we will choose three random winners again tomorrow. Make for, sure you make a comment. Yes. And, and share with your friends. And we're going to choose three winners for three more prizes tomorrow that we're giving away. Remember, those prizes will ship out on Monday. Mm. Okay, Monday. I've got wow. a whole list Monday, for Ruthie. Monday, Monday. Oh, man. We can't say the word Monday anymore without we cannot. breaking out in the mm -hmm. song. I have to. Uh, me too. It's, it's, requirement it's now. just the way it is. It's just the way it is. <laughs> All right. Um, if you have any questions along the way, please feel free to ask them in the comments. I do go back usually in the evenings and read comments so that I can answer questions. Um, in fact, I've even been answering some questions that were already addressed in the video, but in order to, because a lot of people will read through and have the same mm -hmm, question mm -hmm. and maybe you didn't see the video or something. So yeah, it, it, it's helpful to have those answered in both places. So lots um, of times when they ask a question, mm -hmm. a lot of people like, oh, well, I should ask that question. So yeah, it's good. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's, I I always say this and it's kind of cliche, but there really is no such thing as a dumb question. We want you to ask. We want you to uh, be successful in being able to do the things you want to do. So, um, all right. And everyone here has great ideas. Oh my goodness. Mm, yeah. All of you are sharing I a ton from so them many too. great ideas. Yeah. I'm totally doing yeah. the seam ripper for now. Oh yeah. On. Me too. So that was awesome. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being with us. You know what your homework is tonight. For those of you who are staying up with it, you're going to do borders. All right. So let's get your borders Complete done. Those. Complete those. And, um, oh, maybe we should mention real quick uh, about the sand. Because you, yes. before you attach your borders, you want to talk about the sand for just a minute? Okay. The sand, I saw that you've got it in your um, oh, embellishment mm -hmm. bag. And it's one big, long piece. Yeah. This is all one big, long piece. It is also cut. You see, it's not, it's not just straight. It has kind of a wavy line here. That Did is you? already cut for you. So do not try and cut a wavy line. You're nice. just going to have it the length Here's, that you need. Here is yep. that in your, found in your embellishment. Mm -hmm. But you've got to take that plastic off. <laughs> like you did with that other piece of glitter. Oh, yes. Okay, so I've got a piece of tape there. Oh, look at that. It is cut yes, wavy. Yes, and you don't really see that. How cool is that? Until you open it all the way out. Now, for those of you who um, don't have the embellishment kit and you're going to do glitter, they do include some pattern templates yes. of how to cut out oh, the sand. Right. But this is really nice that it is wavy. <laughs> so then, Kyle, when you're attaching this, are we attaching it to this background yes. first? Yes. Okay, so we yes. iron it on. And we will. then we're just then we make sure you're not covering up your hay. Okay. So adjust it for wherever your hay is at. Mm -hmm. And it goes into the seam. Mm -hmm. And then they'll have you do a stitch at the top edge. And then, it's, yes. Stitch so it down at the top edge. Down. Okay, so you're doing that with the sewing machine. Right, right? you do that with a yeah, sewing machine. That's not going to be in your embroidery. So you're just going to top stitch all the way down. And then you add your borders just like right. you normally Once would. Once you've got right? all these sewn together, that's when you're going to add this. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool, I'd say. Um, again, questions, let us know. We're happy to help. And we want to see we want to see your pictures. We want to hear about your experiences. And we're just um, glad to have you join us. Yes, and the glitter so, adds so it much. It really does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. And I didn't have to cut it. Right. Even that's better. Part. Even better. Mm -hmm. All right, my friends. Um, have a great rest of your day. Keep sewing. Keep doing all the things that you love. And we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. Tomorrow we'll be talking about inserting the twinkle lights and the zipper and the battery the pack battery pack and you won't be with us tomorrow no tomorrow's her day off so i know it just got me dang it but you it's can been do it so fun you can do it <laughs> it's been so fun having I you the love last few doing days it with so you. thank you miss kyle all right everyone take care we'll see you tomorrow bye-bye